In this tutorial, we will do an exercise on the Part Design Workbench. Before we start today's video, I would like to ask all my viewers to subscribe to my YouTube channel How Engineers Do It, to share the video among all of your friends, and also hit the bell icon to never miss another update. How Engineers Do It On the left side, you can see the exercise file that we are working on and uh, on the right side we can see the completed model this is the final result that we would like to get so the first thing is to open up a new part model workbench and then select the sketcher and uh, select the zx plane as you start sketching double click on the profile tool Make sure that both of your uh, constraining is auto automatic constraining is on and start sketching it this way. All right, now start dimensioning our sketch by finding out the different dimension from your drawing. As you can see, this is 45, the total length is 78. So let's apply that 45. Total length is 78. Use the escape command, drag this outwards in this fashion. Zoom this in a little bit and now select the constraining again. And this particular, now this distance, this height is what you can see is 12 mm and this length is 28 this length is 30 so our sketch is fully constrained now exit the sketch and use the pad and pad it on the reverse direction or use the mirror command pad this by 37 mm so in this case I'll not use the mirror command I'll just pad it by 37 mm now let's create this particular portion here to create that I'll come to the I can create that by the this particular plane or I can create it by top view so in this case, I will use the XY plane, click on the sketch, I'll drag this in this fashion so that you can understand the drawing better, and I'll use a rectangle, and then I will use a circle. and then use the trim quick trim command to trim this off in this fashion and now use the constrain command and constrain this line by coincidence and constrain this line by sorry constrain this line by coincidence as well now Fix the radius as 12 mm for this and create another circle inside this and dimension that circle by 12 diameter. So 12 diameter. This is 12 radius. The distance from this face to the center of the circle. If you have a confusion, just drag the or right click and uh, middle mouse button and right click and rotate the drawing and then you can constrain the length between the point, this point and this edge as 25 mm And as you can see, there is a small discrepancy here. So let's just fix that. 
click on this to get this point buffer tangent C so that's tangent and at this place the tangent is applied automatically and you can see once you see the green signal or the green sketch it's good to go exit the sketch and apply the pad of 10 mm and then select this edge you can see this edge and give an edge fillet press a feature edge fillet of 2 mm now we have a rectangular portion here that extends fully downwards of 10 mm and it's located at 47 mm so this is a little tricky part so let's just select this face and click on the plane reverse direction and we'll create a plane at 47 mm you can see that a plane has been created there let's get inside this sketch of that plane and we'll create a rectangle we'll constrain that rectangle in this fashion we'll give 10 mm as you can see if you have a doubt just rotate it and have a look at the drawing now exit the sketch and do a pad reverse direction and just go for up to next click on ok so it creates a pad over there now the final thing that you have to do is just to create a slot here to create the slot you need to come into the sketch here click on the sketch and firstly create a profile in that fashion While I'm in the sketch, I will rotate the drawing and then use the constraint command to constrain these lines. 25 mm, the base is 23 mm. This particular dimension here is 12 mm, and the distance from this point to this edge is 16 mm as you can see here let's check whether our sketch is fully constrained as you can see the green it's fully constrained exit the sketch and now go for a pocket go for up to next and click on ok so that completes our exercise here i hope you enjoyed it